What's up everyone and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how I created the kick and bass for my recent track Divergent which was uh, signed to Pure Trance recently. It's really quite a simple kind of kick and bass but it really kind of worked for the exact sort of sound that I was kind of going for. So before we get into the video if you'd like to hit that subscribe and notification bell and if you're looking for help with your productions I currently have a Black Friday sale over at alamorrisstudios.com with up to 80% off so if you've been checking out any of the sound banks tutorials or anything like that to help you with your productions now is a great time to go check them out. Let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so what I've got here is the, the kick and bass. I'm going to try to restrict a little bit of how much of this I play for copyright reasons on uh, YouTube. Um, so starting off with a kick, very, very sort of simple kick. I can't even remember where I got it from now, not right now. It could have even been one that's in my uh, Heavy Trans Kicks pack, um, but I can't be too sure on that. I always end up labeling stuff to try and keep things clean. Um, so. What I've done here, you'll see with this kick, I've just, I take off this EQ. It had a little bit too much sort of harsh high-end click to it for the type of style track that I wanted. I was really kind of aiming for something from around that sort of 2000 kind of era. Um, and I just felt like the clickiness on the top end of this was just a little bit too bright, but I did really quite like the, the, the low end weight to the kick. So I've removed some of that high-end click. just to give it a bit more of sort of a dull feel to it. I've taken out this area here, just to remove a little bit of that sort of boxy sound. And I've also just given it a little boost here, just to give it a, an extra little bit of extra weight there in the low end. So really kind of simple. I've not done anything else to the kick there. Just found a nice kick and gone and EQ'd it a little bit according to the track that I was working in. Um, so that's what I've done there. And then the next layer is this bass. If I just play these two together. So what you'll hear with this bass line here is I've done it with the Prophet V3 from Artoria. Uh, I think it's Artoria. Yep, Artoria. Um, and usually I'll just create sort of bass sounds my sort of self, right? Um, from either scratch. Sometimes I'll go and get, get a preset or something like that. But with this, I was kind of like wanting to get in that zone of that older sort of sound for my track. So I went looking for an older sort of analog style uh, synth and basically wanted to just have a little flick through just to kind of get some inspiration on those older sort of sounding bass sounds. Uh, and it came up with this. Now, it did need a bit of tweaking um, within the actual preset itself to try to get that bass sound that I wanted. What I didn't want to do is to have um, a bass line that kind of sounded cheap. Uh, where it had too much mid range, but I also have to be careful with this because if you take away too much of that low mid and it's only one layer, it's going to sometimes be a little bit inaudible on sort of like Bluetooth speakers and stuff like that. So let's just go through this. So it's just basically this sound. If I take all the processing off it, just this. So it actually sounds okay the way it was, but I've gone in. The gain won't be doing anything other than, yeah, it's just in case I want to turn it down. Um, the channel EQ, this here, you'll see. I've just kind of taken out a little few frequencies here. One that was just kind of sort of resonating a little bit there, a little bit hollow sort of sounding. Boosted up a little bit here for that reason, because I wanted it to sit quite low. If I put all the other processing on, um, it had, sorry, because it was quite low sitting down in that bass with the kick, it needed to have just that little bit of extra presence in that mid range there. There must have been a, a nasty frequency here coming through that I've removed, and then I think this is just for filtering out. Um, and again, I've just done a little bit of a boost on that low end. So if I turn this off again. Then I have a compressor, which is side chaining to the kick. So I've also added an LFO tool on here as well to just give it that extra little bit of groove and kind of shape the sound a little bit more. It wasn't a mixing decision at all. It was just to kind of give it a different shape to the sound. So if I just put these. Very, very subtle, but these are the types of tweaks that I end up doing sometimes um, when I really want to try and get the exact sound that I want. Then we've got in here Saturn 2. Now what we've got with Saturn 2 here is, again, I've done a little bit of uh, saturation in the low. 
below um where are we here below 286 hertz and you'll notice here i've done a little boost and a bit more saturation in that mid range again to give it that extra prominence in that low mid um so just a little bit of growl there in the low mid then another eq here just to give it a little bit of boost and take out some of the little frequencies as i've gone and done my final mix so yeah, that's the kick and bass. Really kind of simple, but fills out that low end nicely. And again, I didn't want that to have too much of that cheapness to the mid range where it's kind of like this. Uh, where's the filter? Yeah, it just, it's just a bit too much. So I wanted it to sit nicely. It's still audible. Um, but yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this little insight. If you are wanting to see any more of this track, please let me know in the comment section below on what section you would like to see. Um, be really kind of interesting to see what you would like to see in this video. Um, if you'd like to see any of it at all. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet done so, be sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell. And if you are wanting some extra tips and stuff like that, more in-depth tutorials, be sure to head over to alanmorrisstudios.com and check out that Black Friday sale, depending on when you're watching this. It does end at no on November the 30th uh, at midnight UK time. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.